traffic and parking around the stadium. Today, RTC launched the Game Day Express bus service that will be offered rides to and from the stadium from around the valley. But today was a big test for how Raiders fans will access this venue. <laughs> Fans celebrate the first Raiders tailgate to kick off the first official game day at Allegiant Stadium. Getting to the stadium came at a price. Nearby businesses were out in full force advertising their parking and prices. We did notice that as you get closer and closer to the stadium, the price of parking goes up. For this parking we saw will cost you $40. Closer you get, $60 and then $100. Some fans who were advised to arrive three hours early understood it's just business. I have no problem with these guys charging what they can get because they waited for two years for one thing. So they so and and it's uh, it's it's the American system, you know. But other football fans wanted to avoid the headache of taking their own car. Definitely take an Uber because man, it'll save you a long trip, long time, easy more money, pay up in the stadium. Go with a Uber or a taxi get dropped off right, right before the bridge and then uh, just walk over. Raider fans had different parking experiences. Very difficult. Uh, it was easy for me. I'm military, so I just parked over at the Mandalay Bay. How much Bay. you had to pay? And uh, I rode zero. Zero. 80 bucks at the Mandalay Bay no, to walk way over across the zero. zero. Military. But the excitement, coupled with how long Raider Nation has waited to experience the first game in Vegas, was worth it. Honestly, been waiting. I've been waiting for them to have their own stadium for a while. I'm from Oakland, so right I've been waiting for this for a while. I'm, I'm ready from for Vegas, it. Vegas, and uh, I've been going to L.A. and Oakland for the last 30 years. It's good to make memories and uh, be part of history. 